Hi guys, I'd like to introduce to you another tool no, that you will need uh, during this new normal way of learning. So this is the self-instructional manual or we call this SIM for self-directed learning. So what is this SIM? So this SIM is a manual which contains all of the lessons that you have to take up in this subject. So first things first, this is the um, cover page of the manual. So this is the course or the subject accounting or ACBP 100 accounting class. And the name of the teacher who prepared no, this manual. In the second page, we have this the course outline. So we have the subject code and the description. And then we also have the course facilitator being the teacher who crafted th this manual. His email address. And then for student consultation, how we do how do we do student consultation? So that's done online via LMS or through traditional contact no preding tomawag by text or mag email. So this is the mobile phone of the preparer of this manual. So the effectivity date is August twenty twenty. So the mode of delivery is distance education delivery, but as what I've mentioned to you, uh, we have already shifted to uh, blended online, uh, blended OBL, online blended uh, learning. So the time frame is 54 hours. This is um, aligned to the syllabus that I have given to you. So the student workload, so there is expected self-directed learning. So walang prerequisite and the unit credit is 3 units. So for the attendance requirement, so for the online sessions, and again, we already changed the schedule from um, supposedly MWF or TTHS online class schedule, we changed it already to MWF. Now, this is to solve again mga connectivity issues of the students as well as the teachers. So you are required to attend a minimum of 95% for the online sessions. And this one, if the time or not the circumstances already permits, then we can do the campus or on site review you know, before we have our. Uh, final exam in another one day on campus or on site the final exam of which are expected not to attend every one of you is expected to attend again this is if our situation or the circumstances will permit us not to do on site or on campus um, meetings already okay so this is the course policies so the contact and non-contact hours so this three unit course self instructional manual is designed for distance learning mode of instructional delivery with scheduled face-to-face -face or virtual sessions which can be done using lms in our case we use tellkeeper traditional contact via cell phone or telephone and sms and social media platforms to no email, private messenger, Facebook, Viber, WhatsApp, Zoom, and other similar applications, depending on what is available for both teachers and students. So the expected number of hours will be 54, including the face-to-face -face or virtual sessions. The face-to-face -face session shall include the summative assessment task since this course is crucial in the licensure exam for CPAs. So for the assessment task, um, the submissions of the assessment task shall be in the 3rd, 5th, 7th, and ninth week of the first term of first semester. 
So there is or there are specific dates na mentioned in this course in the course schedule section. Um just um the later part na in this uh, in this manual. So we have um policies here that we have of course read no because these are important in the conduct of this particular subject so in case you are asked to do your research or require other requirements that you need to submit so take note that we only allow 30 percent no um similarity index so ibig sabihin um you can just copy paste everything online no? because there is this limit as to the similarity index. So please note that academic dishonesty such as cheating and commissioning other students or people to complete the task for you have severe punishments. No? So pwede reprimand, pwede warning, pwede rin na expulsion depending on the severity no, of your um, violation so penalties for the late assignment or assessment so we have here that um, if you fail to submit without approved extension of time then your score will be reduced by 5% no, of the possible maximum score so if ever the late submission has a valid reason then um, you can prepare a letter of explanation and submit it and approve by the course coordinator. So, if necessary, you'll also be required to present or attach uh, evidences. In terms of returning assignments and assessment, so it will be returned to you one week after the submission. So, via, of course, LMS, email, FB Messenger or any other communication platform. So, some group assessment tasks, the course coordinator will require some or few of the students for online or virtual sessions to ask clarifi clarificatory questions to validate the originality of the assessment task submitted and to ensure that all group members are involved. So, assignment resubmission. So, you should request in writing address to the course coordinator your intention not to resubmit assessment task. So, the resubmission is premised on the student's failure to comply with the similarity index and other standards or other reasonable circumstances, no, whether illness, accidents, or financial constraints. Then, the remarking of assessment, no? So, if you have concerns related to the score given to you in an assessment task, you can write a letter and then explain in that letter the reasons or points why, are you, why you are contesting the grade. And the course coordinator shall communicate with the students on the approval or disapproval of the request. If disapproved by the course coordinator, you can elevate your case to the program head or the dean with the original letter of request. The final decision will come from the dean of college. So this is in case if you are doubtful of the grade that you receive. No? So you follow protocol. And then the grading system, this is just similar to what I have presented to you in your course syllabus so we have here the preferred referencing style so we are requiring um, everyone to use no, the general practice of APE 6th edition format in referencing then student communication so we have already created a group chat in FB messenger and then, I hope not everybody already has Creeper account. So, if you have already, so please 
join our class no? you look for the access code which is posted in our department page so all communication formats chat submission of assessment task requests may be done through any pro platforms available for the convenience of the teacher and students you can also meet the course coordinator in person through the scheduled face-to-face -face session to raise your concerns and issues no? but again this is um dependent on the circumstances at hand if the um circumstances will already permit us to do face to face anyways you can also um come to the office uh, for as long as you follow no, the health protocols so next is the contact details of our dean our Dean of College is Dr. Gina Feji Israel and then our Assistant Dean then the contact details of the program heads if you have concerns for accountancy this is my contact number for accounting technology MAC and IA this is the contact number of Ma'am Maria Teresa A. Ozoa, your program head so for students with special needs so they should communicate with the course coordinator about the nature of his or her special needs depending on the nature of the need the course coordinator will with the approval of the program coordinator may provide alternative assessment tasks or extension of deadline of submission of assessment tasks however the alternative assessment should still be in service of achieving the desired course learning outcomes so we also have the contact details of our librarian, Mom Clarissa R. Danaire, and as well as key personnel in the Well-being, Welfare Support, Help Desk contact details. So we have these are the people from the guidance office. So you have concerns, they can also or you can also reach to this person so their contact uh, details. Okay, so for the course information, so I have already given you the course syllabus. It's available in paper as well as in Scology since I already uploaded it. So this is the uh, course coordinator's voice. Um, talking to you, no, the students will be taking up this particular course. So hello there, welcome to this course, ACBP 100 Accounting Class. This course is designed for you to have an overview of the various aspects of business. As future accountants, you'll be dealing with records. Hence, it is important for you to have basic knowledge of the different aspects of business to easily relate to potential business transactions. This covers topics related to business management, finance, marketing and economics moreover this course will also help you evaluate the worthiness of investment opportunity considering the concept of the time value of money i am confident that you'll find this course relevant as this applies not only to business but as well as to your personal endeavors i hope that you enjoy while learning this course so this is the course outcomes upon completion of the course you are expected to explain the theories, principles, concepts of management and organization, marketing, finance, and economics, and be able to assess impacts of our business environments. Thus, the students are expected to distinguish the needs and wants of a customer group or market that are unmet or undeserved to identify business opportunities or underserved you know, to identify business opportunities so we have here the uh, meat nor the content really of this manual so each week nor let's say unit will have a big picture like for example for week one to three these are the unit learning outcomes no, or ULO 
that at the end of the union, the students are expected to discuss the nature and its relationship in management. So, this UL, ULO, ULO A is one of the lessons under week 1 to 3 and included in the coverage of your first examination. Then, for ULO B, so this is another lesson. So they describe the nature and concept of management. So in this next section here, big picture and focus. So this focuses on the ULOA, which is discuss the nature of business and its relationship in management. So next section under that big picture and focus is your meta language. So it is here where the relevant terms no, are being defined. The important terms in this particular lesson is being defined. So in this case, that's business. And then you have the essential knowledge. So basically, this is now where the topics, no, the meat of the discussion will be presented. So I will be preparing a video um discussing all of this the topics to under this ULO A no for week one two three so after the uh, essential knowledge you are given here uh references no self help where you can also refer to if you want to enrich no more of your learnings so you can search or you can look for these references and then the let's check section this is where you are going to apply no this is a test of what you have learned from the uh, topics presented in the essential knowledge so you have to answer this section so in our case if our lms will already be activated no if it's already functional totally functional then these questions here will be placed in the lms so that it is where you're going to answer these particular questions so after let's check we have that's analyze now, so this is a deepening of your understanding um not to the forbearance of your understanding also of this mm, particular topic of the particular topic presented so the next section is in a nutshell wherein you are going to mm, present here parang it's a summary of what you have learned in this particular lesson and then the Q&A list so meaning along the way no, as you read the uh, lesson the essential knowledge and then if you encounter some confusions you may take down no, the uh, questions here so that um, in our live or our um, online meetings you can raise that in our meeting so that it can be addressed and can be clarified so also this section here um, presents the keyword index no, for this particular lesson so that's the set no one set of um, a module in a particular unit learning outcome so the next section is yung isa namang ULO, na yung ULOB naman, which is to describe the nature and concept of management. So, it's just similar to ULOA that uh, it has meta language, it has essential knowledge, it has self help. Let's check. Then let's analyze that in a nutshell. Q and A. Then the keywords. So it's. Basically, all of the ULOs or the unit learning outcomes will have the same set of sections. So, this is the 
unit. Uh, this is the big picture for week 4 to 5. Wherein it has 3 unit learning outcomes. So this is, or itong topics na to would be the coverage of your second examination. Okay? So it's the same with week 1 to 3. Now that it has all of the elements, so each of these ULO will be presented one by one, containing all the elements like meta language, essential knowledge, yung uh, self help, uh, let's check, let's analyze, and then QA in a nutshell, and yeah, the keywords. So here we have week 6 and 7. Wherein there are two unit learning outcomes. So this is the coverage naman of your third exam. So lastly for weeks eight and nine, it only has or no, it has only one unit learning outcomes. So about the concept of economics. So after all of those lessons presented from weeks 1 to 3 until week uh, 8 to 9. So, we come here to your course schedule. So, there are specific dates here being mentioned when you're going to uh, submit. No? So, obviously, we already we are already late of the schedule because we started only um, on August 24th. So, in the course schedule, you will be seeing the activities, the specific dates, and kung saan yung isasubmit no, yung, yung um, activity or output. So, next would be the conduct or the online code of conduct. So, please read this no? um, because this is also very important. So, this is the last page already. So, how do we monitor no, OBD or the online blended delivery and the DED? So, we have here, no, um, how do we monitor the conduct of classes? So, this is how, you, how we do it. So, that's it. I hope you're able to understand that the importance of this self-instructional manual again this is a very big help for you because all of the lessons that you'll be taking up are already um, presented in this manual so um you know lang if you want to do for more enrichment you can also search no, or you can also refer to the references you can also browse no, to the references given to you for enrichment. So that would be all and have a great day ahead.